Hi, in this video we will explain the vector equation of a plane. One way to define a plane in a space is when you have a point on the plane and a vector that points to the normal direction of the plane. We will use vector operations. There is a way to create a plane from three nonlinear points. There is one unique plane where all three points will lie on that particular plane. Using the point and normal, we already have a point on the plane. But how can we use the three points, let's call them A, B, and C, to find the normal to that plane. That's the only part that is missing. And the normal is a vector, let's call it V. So if we have V and we can use any of the three points, then we can define that plane P in terms of the point and the normal. We know that subtracting two points create a vector between these two points. So vector A would be C minus A, and vector B can be derived from B minus A. We also know that the cross product of two vectors give us the normal vector to both those vectors. So using my vector operations, the subtraction and the cross product can help us find the ingredients needed to create the plane. Let's write it more formally here. Given the three points A, B, and C, we can calculate the two vectors A equal C minus A and vector B, which is equal to B minus A. And we know that the normal vector, let's call it V, is equal to the cross product of vectors A and B. In other words, vector V is equal to C minus A cross B minus A. So we were able to find the normal to the plane using three nonlinear points on that plane. Once we have a normal and we use any of the three points, let's use point A, we can calculate the plane. Let's implement that in a grasshopper. In a grasshopper, you can generate a plane using a plane normal. By default, this component takes the origin of your coordinate system and the positive z direction. Now, I want to create a plane in terms of three input points in my space. Let's generate three points. We will reference three random points in space. I'll elevate point C in the Z direction, so they will not all be on the XY plane. And then I'll also, for clarity, hook the points to the display. So now my three points, A, B, and C, the red, the blue and the green are three random points in space. I want to find a plane where A is the origin and all three points lie on that plane. If you recall, the normal can be calculated using the following equation. assuming that the normal to the plane is V. We'll use subtraction and cross product components to solve the equation. 
And remember, we need to see, go B, and the order of operation does matter, B minus A and C minus A. That creates two vectors going from A to B and A to C. Let's view these vectors. And let's anchor those vectors to A. As you can see, we generated two vectors that go from A to B and C. We'll use the vector cross product component to calculate the cross product between the vector going from A to B and the vector going from A to C. That generates a third vector and I'll unitize the output so we can see it more clearly. And as you can see, now the normal vector to both input vectors is calculated using the cross product. This produces my normal vector. I will use A as my origin to create the plane and my normal vector as the normal to the plane. As you can see, now we created a plane where all three points lie on that plane and we use the vector operations to generate that plane. This is why we call it the vector equation of plane.